How to sue a company. When a business harms you, you can do more than write an angry letter to the owner. Instead, you can bring a lawsuit and get financial compensation for your injuries. To start the process, gather evidence that the company is responsible for your injuries, whether they're physical, financial, or emotional, and then choose the correct court to sue in. Gathering evidence. Consult with an attorney. Some lawsuits are simple, and you can handle them on your own. However, other cases are complex and you might need to hire a lawyer. In any event, you should consult with an attorney to talk about your case. Ask friends or family if they can recommend someone. If you have no leads, then get a referral from your nearest bar association. Call and schedule a consultation where you can talk about your case. The lawyer can give you good advice about how complicated the case will be and whether you should even sue. Generally, you can hire a lawyer in a personal injury lawsuit or discrimination lawsuit without having to pay fees. Instead, the lawyer will represent you on contingency, meaning they only get paid if you win. 1. Write down what you remember. You are a party to the lawsuit, so sit down as soon as possible and record your memories. What happened? When did it happen? Try to be as detailed as possible. As time passes, you'll remember less, so get it all down now. Identify witnesses. You'll want them to testify on your behalf at trial. Identify any witnesses and take down their name, contact information, and a brief description of what they saw. You can also ask witnesses to submit affidavits, which are sworn and written testimonies of what they witnessed. If you're suing an employer for discrimination, good witnesses include fellow employees and your boss. If you're suing for a personal injury, then a good witness is anyone who saw you get injured. Take pictures. If you were injured at a store, have someone return to the store to take pictures of any hazard that injured you. You should also take pictures of your injuries while they are fresh. By the time you get to trial, bruises will disappear and scars will heal. Make sure the timestamp works on your camera and that it records the proper date. If not, write the date down on the back of developed pictures. 3. Take photographs from many different angles and different light. Remember not to smile in your photographs. Gather medical records. If you suffered a physical injury, you'll need medical documentation. Get copies of emergency room admitting charts, doctor's notes, test and exam results, as well as your doctor's diagnosis and prognosis. Hold on to all medical bills, since you can be reimbursed for them. If you hire an attorney, they may recommend that you visit a doctor that specializes in personal injury cases. However, if you need emergency medical treatment, don't wait for a referral from your attorney. Collect proof of other injuries. You can sue for a variety of injuries, depending on the circumstances. Consider the following. Pain and suffering. Document this suffering in a pain journal. Each day, write down how you are feeling and the location and intensity of any pain. 5. Lost wages. The injury might have prevented you from working. Gather evidence of how much you made, e.g., recent pay stubs or proof of self-employed income. You can be compensated for this loss. Avoid delay. You only have a limited amount of time to bring a lawsuit. This window of time is called the statute of limitations. Search online or ask a lawyer about the statute of limitations for your claim. If you wait too long, you can't bring a lawsuit, no matter how solid your case. Some statutes of limitations are only a year, so don't delay. Send a written demand to the company. In some states, you need to send a demand letter to the defendant before you can sue. In the letter, you explain your injuries and tell the defendant how much you are willing to settle for. Set the amount high, you should expect the defendant to try and negotiate the amount down. Hold onto a copy of your letter before mailing it certified mail, return receipt requested. 